PCS is coming for that one tenth market. What's going on, everybody? Gem Mint here. I told you, PCS was one of my favorite statue companies. Man, they're doing incredible stuff with life size figures, with one third scale, quarter scale, and they're even coming at my boys over at Iron Studios in the one tenth scale market. I did do a video a little while back on their MVC Wolverine, and uh, they have since released a Spider Man. They're doing three different versions. Wolverine, I want to say, had the yellow and blue costume, the yellow and brown, and the uncanny X-Force gray and black. And then for Spider-Man, they had classic, modern, and symbiote. Well, here we have Venom, one-tenth scale from Marvel vs. Capcom. And they have a player one and player two. We're going to take a look at both of them today. Let's start with player one here. We're a premium collectible studio site, so $180.00. First of all, it's all about that player, too. I just got to give a quick spoiler alert. You can see it in the bottom there below. But here goes Venom. And what I love about the Venom from the Gamerverse, or whatever you want to call it, it feels like animated series Venom to me. You got that tongue out, green slime, big, muscular Eddie Brock. Venom emblem is prominent on the chest here. And the iconic symbiote pose from Marvel vs. Capcom 2, where it lunges out of the ground and starts flailing around. Uh, and there's also one I want to say with the shield. I could be wrong and, th and thinking of something else, but here we go. Got the smooth skin on the symbiote, huge white emblem on his chest, arms outstretched, lunging right out of one of the most recognizable fighting games of all time, MVC2, standing eight inches tall, nine inches wide, six inches deep, next to that premium collectibles soda can. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is so nostalgic here. Love this picture with the blue shading on it, or the blue li lighting, I should say. It reminds me of what you see in comic books, where they highlight black with blue to kind of give you that look. That's what we're seeing here. Great shot, actually. like that picture. From over the shoulder, he's got those huge traps, no neck, <laughs> those big alien eyes. And then here he is facing up against Spider-Man. Spider-Man from MVC2 always had that super low-to-the-ground pose, and this looks like it's the modern version. The classic version had this smaller kind of like Ditko eyes. And then, of course, there's the symbiote like I mentioned. Awesome shot here. Venom, uh, an imposing figure compared to Spider-Man. And here's player two. I talk about the blue highlights on the black symbiote, but what's better than the all-blue symbiote straight out of the video game? I feel like this player two is going to be one of the few pieces that outsells the original player one. Everybody's going to want that nostalgic blue player two look. Here we have with a white background so you can see all the details. Symbiote coming out from the middle of that very plain black base. PCS kind of sticking true to old school PCS in that sense. That's how their Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat statues always were. So it kind of feels like a homage to them, to be honest. All right, so Symbiote coming out the back. So I guess it doesn't have the shield. I think I just saw this and I was thinking... That move where he had the uh, symbiote turn into the shield for him. The black symbiote. And then let's look at the player two blue version, y'all. So one tenth scale, very affordable and you know, relative to the seven hundred dollar quarter scale pieces that we're buying. Here's the blue. Looks great with that contrast of the green slime on his tongue. Wow, that is cool, man. Super cool. I think, I think we've had custom statues like this in the past, but to have a licensed blue colored Venom statue is incredible. And then here goes, you can see a sneak of the classic Spider-Man. You can see how the eyes are smaller there. Oh, here we go as well. And then with the white background, all the muscle detail. And look at the highlights. So it seems like a lot more lighter blue on the flat parts, and then as you get into the crevices, it has like a darker version of that baby blue, Carolina blue. Symbiote mouth is pink in the inside there as well. So they've actually released a couple of pieces now from this line. I want to say, oh, look at this. So here's um, 
This video is brought to you by Bad Music issue number one. Following the battle at the Ninja Funk Dojo and the capture of BB, Bad Music retreats to their headquarters at the Nexus. With the love of Laser Wolf's life as irresistible bait, there's no doubt in Queen Bad's mind that her nemesis will come knocking and she's ready for them. Will Laser Wolf, JPG McFly, and Wolfgang see the trap for what it is or run headlong into disaster? Find out in Ninja Funk Bad Music number one, hitting your LCS this October. Like I mentioned, Uncanny X-Force Wolverine, same line, 110 scale, the Symbiote Spider-Man, so we saw the other two versions. And they also recently have released a Juggernaut from this line. It was huge. Yep, it is out. Juggernaut, $225. This one is a big boy. Let's just look at this really quick, man. The Marvel vs. Capcom 2 line is looking crazy, and this guy is enormous. 9 inches tall, 11 and a half inches wide, 10 inches deep, huge fists. Big helmet, huge shoulders and muscles everywhere. <laughs> I wonder if they have him next to another statue, like maybe the Wolverine. Straight out of the video game. This is how he looked, that sprite taking up the entire screen. And I got to start getting my pre-order game up with the PCS line. Juggernaut looking huge. We got Wolverine, Spider-Man. Uh, oh, Sabretooth. Yeah, that's right. They did release Sabretooth as well with the player one and player two. So I think that's what they've released so far. Spider-Man, Venom, Sabretooth, Wolverine, and Juggernaut. Look at him facing off with traditional Wolverine. Let me know what you guys think about the MVC 110 scale line from PCS. Are they giving Iron Studios a run for their money? Sound off down below. Thanks for watching and stay minty fresh. Peace.